Rainbow Milk is a, um, it pulls together three narratives, um, starting in um, the West Midlands in the 1950s. It was very important to me to try to reclaim something of my grandparents' generation's story. So Norman is in his early 30s, he has two young children and a wife, um, but he is beset by um, illness and experiences um, unexpected racism um, on coming to live in the UK and is sort of throwing everything up in the air and sort of questioning his mas masculinity, um, etc. He then passes the bat baton on to um, a 19-year-old black teenager um, in the West Midlands who has decided to leave his family and religious community behind to move to London. And so we watch him sort of make all of these quite bizarre decisions. Um, but fortunately, we see him grow older. We follow him to um, his, mid, his mid 30s, um, where he is, is appraising his life as a black British person um, living in England just after it's voted to, to leave the European Union. I don't think Rainbow Milk could have been published even last year. I think crossing into a new decade, it sort of changes the mentality. It sort of clears the slate a little bit for us as a nation, especially the way things ended um, in 2019 with a very, very messy political situation, a snap general election in December, things happening that were completely unthinkable in my childhood. But now we're in a new decade and we're out of the European Union, sadly. Um, but perhaps it is time to hear from underrepresented voices such as those of Norman, particularly in light of the Windrush scandal that has unfolded over the last three years, but also of generations that came after them as part of that legacy. It was very, very important to me to, to write this book. Um, because so many of my own personal experiences are caught up with um, Jesse's and Norman's narratives. Um, and it just sort of happens to be that um, I have been able to write this book at a time when I've just become old enough to gain the distance required from my own personal experiences. I mean, you could even say that um, Rainbow Mock could be a, a metaphor for Britain leaving the EU in terms of Jesse leaving behind his family and his Jehovah's Witness community with no plan whatsoever, <laughs> um, moving to London and having to take huge risks in order to be, to survive and to live and to learn who he was as an individual. That's probably why Rainbow Mock is sort of um, interesting to, to some people because it does sort of say a little bit about who we are as British people right now.